welcome back to Mac with me, Meg and Gracie. Today is a very exciting video. Gracie wanted to be a part of it. We are collabing with our friend and fellow DIYer, Jennifer Bates from Sea Lemon. Gracie just wanted to say to Kona, hey girl, hey. Today I'm collabing with Sea Lemon and we are making something new out of something old. The only rules in this were to find a secondhand item and apply some sort of artistic technique to it to make it into something even better than it was when we started. Since Jennifer is definitely like the queen of making her own handmade patterns and not like Moo's from McCall's back in the day day, but like making her own marble pattern, I definitely took inspiration from her for this DIY. So I found these vintage bowls at a thrift store and I figured, let me try a few different patterns and pick my favorite one to share. Well, I like all three. I could not choose and make the other two bowls cry. So I'm sharing all three with you today. So here are three really cute, fun summer patterns you can hand paint on any kind of bowl. It costs like a dollar. I found this set of vintage handmade teak bowls in a thrift store. Teak wood is beautiful, but these were in bad shape and totally ready for a makeover. I think I'll keep this one though. For this, you'll need wooden bowls, a backdrop for paint, acrylic paint, brushes, and if possible, a sponge like this. For this one, I'm adding a base coat of white to act as a primer. Once the primer is set, add an abstract modern organic pattern in the color palette of your choice. I chose a mix of pastels and saturated jewel tones with, of course, some gold gilding. The non-pattern speaks to the minimalist abstract trend while also embodying bohemian chic. Creating concentric diamond shapes gives a nice nod to an ECAT pattern. Fill the entire bowl with color. And voila! A boho modern moment on a $2 bowl. Pro tip for mixing paint. When you'll need multiple coats with dry time in between, mix an ample amount in a sealable container beforehand. Save yourself the headache of unsuccessfully trying to perfectly recreate your original shade and drying out your paint. On a primed bowl, add a sweet shade of pink. Then, layer on palm frond leaves like I showed you how in my Home Trends video. And voila! The combination of pink and green palm leaves is so on point and trend right now, your DIY will look like it belongs on Pinterest. Success! Add a thin, even layer of pink to the inside of your bowl. Add two to three thin layers until you have total coverage, letting each layer dry in between. To save money on supplies and time on errands, I love to actually mix my paint to find that perfect hue. Also, it's kind of soothing. Paint it on the outside and bottom of your bowl. Allow to dry and then add another coat. Once fully covered, allow your bowl to dry for several hours. Dip your circle sponge gently into the white paint and dab off any excess. In a gentle stamping motion, add white paint to the rim of your bowl. Push down softly to prevent drippage. Clean up any excess with a tiny brush. Use a cotton swab or pencil eraser and black paint to add watermelon seeds inside. Create symmetric rind lines in dark green paint. Add a coat of sealant to protect your paint job, and voila! An old wooden bowl is transformed into a mouth-watering summer fruit, perfect for all of your favorite things. I dig all three of these. I think my favorite, though, might be that sort of modern abstract situation, though I love a plant on pink. Be sure to skedaddle right on over to Sea Lemon's channel to check out her awesome video. My goodness, she is inspiring like whoa. 
You'll also get little sneak peeks of her adorable dog, Kona, so that's a nice little bonus. Be sure to give the vids a big ol' thumbs up in case you're digging these collabs because that tells us to do more. And fill the comment section up and I'll see you here next week. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later.